welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin, your empowerment coach, always wanting to help you to live better, love better, and be better uh, in everything I do, pastor, author, entrepreneur, all of those things. That's what my goal is. I am joined again for these series of videos with my wife, Tarsha, who is just amazing, off the chain, all that in a bag of chips and Oreos. You're not bad yourself. Okay. I, I, <laughs> All right, and so we uh, do a recap, review, and reaction of one of our favorite shows. Um, which one is this? Ready to love, ready wow. for love. <laughs> you know, we do it so many, huh? Hey, all right. <laughs> so listen, if that content is what you're looking for, if that you find this valuable, make sure you what hit that subscribe button. It costs you nothing, but it means everything to us. Hit the like button, and then we have gone occasionally. We've gone live, so. Hit the notifications so you are alerted to every time that we go live, every time that there's a new video so that you don't miss anything, all right? Yeah. So let's jump into it. Uh, this one, now, compared to last week, mm -hmm. this was a kind of a tame episode. Yeah, everybody, everybody's trying to figure out who's going to be eliminated, so they're trying right. to stay low-key, right. you know, under the radar. Right. No no, no big Naya-like reactions this week. Right. That I think that was enough for a season and a half, <laughs> as far as her whole thing last yeah. week. Yeah. All right. But we start off the episode, and, you know, a lot of different things are going on. Right. Jay and Joy, who... They've been vibing from the beginning, they've right? They've been going from the beginning. Cute going couple, strong. you know... Um, they're really exploring their relationship. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of times when in the scenes that we're seeing, we're not really seeing a lot of in-depth conversations. Right. But it sounds like maybe they're having those. So I'm excited to see what happens if they right. are one of the last. There's definitely couples. an attraction there. Right. And there's a, like you said, a vibe, a kinship right. there. Not kinship, not right. that word, but yeah. a, a, a relationship right. developing, right? Exactly. Um, so that one is is. I think that they're almost a lock for the end. I, I want to say that. I feel confident about that, yeah. but you never know. True. You know, they could be pulling us in one direction when something else may have, happen. And then you might have something switch completely at the yeah, at makes, the reunion yeah. and find out Jay was feeling Shay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Where did that come from? All right. Okay. But you have that. All right. And then who else do we have this week? I know um, Rashid and Adriana went on a date. Yes. Now, Rashid, he was married before. He mm -hmm. was married for 10 years. So you can tell he's ready to get remarried. He right. feels like being married gave him a certain energy. And he's done the work to heal from it. And he's to done the work to heal from it. And he's open to having more kids. Yes. Um, and so is Adriana. She want to have boys. The hard thing is you don't know what kind of kids. It's kind of funny when you talk about you want to have certain genders now we were blessed we had <laughs> one of each and then it was like you know what we're done, we're, done. we're good right we, we got a boy we got a girl right. we're good so it's kind of fun to hear others try to talk about right. oh we had two more boys mm -hmm. but i really feel like genuinely they're kind of really connecting i can see yeah. them i can actually see them together right. as well um and work out i think that would give him another chance at marriage right. and i feel like it would be successful because he's learned a lot mm -hmm. and she seems to open to to the experience right, of it. Right. So, you know, and she even, you know, she's kind of like, this feels safe to her. Right. I think for her, it, it there is, we've talked about it before, there's the, the physical lust attraction that she has with Calfani. Right. But with Rashid, it's like she she can see herself right. with him. And it's it's kind of, it's, it's weird where she feels like that's scary for her, you know? Right. Um, I think a lot of times we should fall in when you want to be in a comfortable space. Mm -hmm. When you're with someone, you can feel like you're protected right. and that you can they're trustworthy. And they've known each other from the past, as we're finding out right. as well. You know, so they kind of had a little, you know, something going on. Before. Yeah. So in the comments, go ahead and make sure that you put in there kind of your thoughts on which couples are going to make it to the end. Yeah. Um, those are two of the couples that I think are... Uh, Jay and Joy are almost my like guarantee, almost. Uh -huh. Rashid and Adriana, 
<sighs> it depends. Adriana is the wild card in that situation because right. she could just throw everything for a loop she and go could. for Kalfani. But see, Kalfani has to decide if he really wants to pursue her. Mm-hmm. I feel like he really had a good connection with Denise. Mm-hmm. We see in the trailer, you know, he's putting hands on Denise in a good way. So, right. Right. Yes. so let's say that. <laughs> so with that being you're the rubbing case, that oil in. yes, Lord. And so if you're gonna do that, that means maybe he was trying to make sure that Denise could finally calm down. Right. And while he was exploring, like, okay, I'm gonna take a break from her and see who else is out there. Mm-hmm. But he, even Kalafani says, like, you know what? She's listening she, yeah. to what I said. She's not being the same person, which gives her that opportunity. She's to... not as overtly aggressive. Right. She's still cutting eyes. She's still <laughs> like, mm. <laughs> So, Which you don't, you can't blame her, right? right? She really feels this deep connection. I think he feels it too. I think he was just trying to like, I'm going to just chill out a little bit mm-hmm. because I do want to connect to someone else and I don't want to over connect with Denise. Right. So I think Carl finally has been just, he's been controlling himself, yeah. but I think he was really into Denise. Yeah. So, I mean, let, then let's talk about the ones that are kind of on the bubble that could go either way. Yeah. Let's talk about Anthony. Anthony. So... <sighs> I don't, I don't know. Anthony is saying he's guarded and that he's never been in love. Right. And so that's, that's concerning when you're on a show that says that you're ready for love, but you've never been in love. And you're, you're and in you're your, your what, mid to late thirties. Yes. So it's not yes. as if you're, you know, this is the 20 and 21 year old show where, right. where they're just right. coming out of high school. And so, yeah, right. I never know love. Right. The expectation or the thought is that at some point in your nearly 40 years, right. you would have experienced and known, okay, I'm in love. May not have worked out. Right. But he's 38. I just, okay. He's so yeah, he's, yeah. he's in his late 30s. So yeah. you would still think that, okay, from the time of 20 to 38, that's a whole, that's, <laughs> that's a whole teenager, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a lot of time, right? Right. For, um, for you to understand what you want, what you don't want, mm-hmm. um, have a couple of heartbreaks, right. you know, but he says that he hasn't been heartbroken. He hasn't been in love. So he doesn't seem very, um, winner says, you know, not as aggressive, right. not aggressive in a bad way, but show me that you're interested in me, you know, yeah. tell the other guys or the other girls like, Hey, I want my time with my woman. Right. You Cause know? there's a scene where. Um, where a, uh, Anthony and Winter are walking out, they're right. having a conversation, and jo- uh, Jay comes up and yeah. is like, Man, "Why I always catch? Why I always catch you with my woman?" And he's like, "Oh, oh, oh!" And he starts dancing off. It's like, so Winter's kind of like, "At least let me know that you're interested. At right. least let me know. Right. I'm not asking you to go to war and, and right. you know, <laughs> right. pull out pistols and do a whole duel over right. me. But at least be like, you know what, bro? I'm with her right now." She'll catch you on the flip. She'll right, catch you le- right. next time, right? You know, and I think it just depends on his personality. If that's not his personality, you know, he don't even want to play that way. I can see that, you know, but again, it's like, but we how were, interested are you? And we were talking, you know, because he, he played football is what we understand, right? Right, he played football. So, in football, you want the ball. <laughs> so, you're going to do everything you right. can to go out and get the ball. Right. Same thing with love. Right. If there's somebody you're feeling. Right. This is the opportunity to go all out for it. Right. And, and no, you're not putting everything, your heart on your sleeve and everything like that, but you're at least making your desires known. Right. And then she can move around that and say, okay, right. yes or no, or, you know. You know, I found it very interesting with Winner mm-hmm. that she's very upfront, like, yes. okay, how do you feel about me? Yes. Where do I stand? Mm-hmm. I want you to only talk about me and mm-hmm. how we're connecting. Yes. Because she really wants to know like where she stands in all of this. Because she ends up to be the number two. Seems to be a lot. That seems to be frequent with right. Winner. She's never a number one pick. Right. She's like always, you know, the number two pick. Right. So the question is. You know, why she's always ending up as number two. Mm-hmm. You know, why she's not coming out as the clear favor is, is we may not be seeing it. Is she a little bit over aggressive that she's not coming in as number one? I think, you know, and I think because 
it's hard to read Winter in that respect. Mm-hmm. So I don't, I don't necessarily think she she's She seems a, subtle with it, but... She's subtle. She's playing the background in some respects. Mm-hmm. And I think that... Um, I think that, you know, because of who the, the comparisons are, mm-hmm. I think that she's, in some respects, taking a back seat, mm-hmm. whether intentionally or not. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I think that she wants to be pursued... She prefers to be she pursued, prefers to be pursued. Instead the of being other, a the other ones that she's the number two for because she's basically the number two against Joy, right? And the number two against That's Denise. That's what I'm saying. And they are more aggressive. They, they are, are more, more out there. This is what I want. Yeah, You're the one I true. want. That's so true. So she's That's number true. two because she's kind of doing the same thing that. Um, Anthony is doing to her where she's right. kind of like I'm feeling you but I want you to pursue me right whereas she's competing against women that are like no I want you and I'm pursuing you right that's true that's true that's good so that's just our psychoanalysis we'll see how that works right <laughs> see how it works <laughs> um, and then and, and oh and even with that she because she makes the comment or makes the statement um, you know, because he starts, Anthony starts talking to her, to Winter, mm-hmm. and he's like, you know, y'all got me confused, y'all got me stuck, what have mm-hmm. you? And and she's like, no, talk about me, right? Speak, talk. What, what am I doing? Right. You know, don't right. come talking about both of us, because at this point, I want to know how he, I feel. Right, and that's why I feel like at times she can be assertive when mm-hmm. when she wants to, right? But is it being played in the right direction? Right. Where why is she not number one to, right. in these guys? And even eyes. nephew Tommy told mm-hmm. Anthony, every woman wants to be pursued. Right. Well, he says make a choice yeah. that you're gonna have to make a choice. But if he's trying to keep them on even playing fields, right. then he's not making a choice. He's on the fence. Yeah. yeah. All right. So then um, let's talk about Alex and Brian. Alex and Brian. Um. Yes. So first of all, Brian. We weren't the only, we're not the only ones that are looking at Brian suspicious about his conversation and how yes. he talks. The women aren't the only ones either. The guys, no. are, the guys they are clown up. They are they clown. and clowning him. Yes, Joni is a very old word. Um, people may not know what that means. Okay, they are clowning him. <laughs> They are making fun at his expense. <laughs> right. I'm sorry. That's the Chicago in me. Look. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's hilarious. You know, because they're at the table and they're like, yeah, he can't even get, say anything straightforward. And even Jay makes the comment, like, when an educated man can't say nothing straightforward, <laughs> he's just full of it. Right. You know, so, and it's true. Mm-hmm. But Alex is right there. So the guys are clowning him while Alex is right there. And so Alex is like, yep, mm-hmm. I should not be messing with this guy. I think I'm pigeonhole myself yes. to this guy and I may not be around right. because I stayed focused to this guy only. And I think she, you know, it was like the light bulb went off in her eyes. It looks right. like that, okay, I'm not the only one that's feeling this way. Right. Because they have a conversation. Yes. And he, you know, she's like, you joke too much. You, you right. I'm trying to have serious I'm conversations. Have con- right. And you want to joke. You want to. You don't know how to turn it and off. And he's like, I want to, isn't that charming? She's like, no, at that point, I need you to be serious at right. that point. And he doesn't know how to cut it off. And then he didn't remember that, you know, she had. Yeah. Come- Yes. told him and about the, a domestic you know violence yeah situation. she had to like fully remind him and and then again you know then he tries to downplay mm-hmm. what she's trying to tell him right. you know oh okay master right you know and it's like whoa 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 don't go there with me right i'm really trying to tell you that you're not listening to me and right. you're making too many jokes where i thought we had a connection you just kind of ruined that. Right. We were cute. Like, you're cute to date, but you know what? I don't want to be in a relationship right. with you vibe right. now. Right. <laughs> so then there's a there's a scene where they're kind of sitting around the table. I guess the thing for them now is that they always are starting to beat and somebody wants to freestyle, <laughs> right? Whatever do y'all, okay. right? But she freestyles and she's like, you know, I'm I'm feeling Brian, but I'm also feeling Rasheed. Right. So right. I don't know, you know, for for the table if that was, you know, something that was really well known. Oh, she was she ma- she's making it known that hey, I don't want to be. Uh, I don't want to be pigeonholed with it just Brian. Yes. And I want to be here, you yes. know, which she had to make that move. Mm-hmm. She had to say like, Brian, you ain't you ain't coming up. You yeah. you ain't on that level with me. Yeah. So. Yeah. And even Tommy had a conversation with Alex and was basically like, you know, yeah, he can talk. He he, he right. talks. I've heard him too. 
Right. And that if he really cares about you or looking or right. Or possibly gonna fall in love, he's gonna change his ways. Right. The question is, are you gonna stay around if that's gonna happen? Exactly. You know, who wants to teach someone how to listen? Especially when you are in your mid you know, mid late thirties when you're right. This is not Let's do life together and and grow together right. from we didn't 18, start 19. when we were in high school. This is you this should, is these like are you some should skills have that your you should stuff have. together. Right. You know that you should have the time to work on you. Right. And now when you're saying you're ready to love for this show, mm-hmm. you're saying that hey, in a couple months, maybe a year or so, you want to get married right. because this is where we are. You right. know, these set of people are saying they've done the work. I'm ready to have a good. Long term relationship. relationship, right? Yes. And he even he was another one that said, "I've never been in love." He said, yes, "I was in maybe, love since I was 20. right? Twenty, twenty, and one. And and Alice is like, "So never really in your adult <laughs> life have you been in and love?" I was like, "Wow, so twenty to twenty one is not considered an adult." <laughs> well, I mean, I think you know, I think the, what I thought and knew at twenty. Mm-hmm is different than what I knew right. at 38 and 40, right? It's true. Um, it's true. I mean, I guess it depends on your level of maturity at, right. even at that age. Right. You know, but again, I mean, like, he has a kid with a woman. And so but they had a kid. Well, what, what he's we saying. We know that don't mean nothing. Well, what, what he's saying is that he didn't love her. Right. That's what, I, that's what I'm getting at. So that could be a scary thing also for Alex. Because now it's like, okay, you've never been in love. Right. You have a child with a woman and you're saying you've never been in love. Right. So now how will I know Right when you're when you're ready to love right. when you've never you know, even never with the one even though with the one that you are now you brought someone into the world right. with. Right. <laughs> right. Which it happens, I mean, you know, depending on when it happened, right. you might not have been in love. But it just to me it gave that like oh so you were never even in love with the right. baby mama because right. if any time you would have been like if it was a time that you would have been, been thought it, <laughs> that was that the time right. but the baby's only three years old so right. okay no, that didn't work that didn't work all right and so then simone yes miss loria i you know i wonder what kind of lawyer she is because i would use her if i needed a, a good attorney if i need to get off a murder or something like that i'm calling <laughs> she, simone she can answer the question <laughs> listen uh, man, she was, I feel like she was interrogating she Edwin. Him. She grilled him. And Edwin was like, whoa, I'm feeling a certain way when he was giving his, you know, confessional. Mm-hmm. It's like, I'm really feeling a certain way about mm-hmm. this. Um, I mean, she had some great questions, but she didn't even give it time to like marinate. Right. Like the brother couldn't even get it fully out. And she, I feel like you can't. That's why I like to ask questions because to me, once you say it, I get to think about it. Right. I get to marinate over it, right. and it builds connection between us right. because I'm like, wow, I didn't know that about you, or mm-hmm. oh, that's so interesting that you feel that right. way because I want to draw a natural connection. It's more like, okay, so what, what's your favorite color? Blue, blue. Okay, why can you like? Why you like blue? Oh, did your mother like blue? Oh, you never had a daddy that liked blue. Right. Why? Why? Okay, so why not try another color? Mm-hmm. Okay, what's your color now? And he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Right. When, when I knew that she was in lawyer mode, she used the phrase, let me rephrase that. Yes. <laughs> so so it really was like she was back in a courtroom. <laughs> she was like, "Did where were you on the night of October 5th? No, let me rephrase that. What were you doing on October 5th? <laughs> And I can tell she loves her job, right. but when it interferes with you finding love, right. I think you have to really kind of step back and say, you know what, I'm going to enjoy the experience of talking to you right. instead of like just questioning you to death. And so then, you know, because this elimination was one man and one woman. Yes. So this was not just ladies' choice or guys' nope. choice. It was this was open. Two people going home. <laughs> two people going home. So Simone was feeling the pressure. She, oh, Simone was making rounds. Simone was you in my top. To you in my everybody. top. <laughs> Everybody's in my top. Everybody's in my top. It's, you know, now, you know, boy, I've been looking at you. There's only six guys left. <laughs> so yeah, you, you everybody in the top ten right now. Everybody right? in the top ten. So yeah, and I think maybe she was getting a little anxious because mm-hmm. 
she was really learning from the experience mm -hmm. and she, she I think she was really trying to fight to stay there because she was feeling something with Rashid yes. so she was like in her lawyer mode it's like okay well I gotta connect I gotta build a case with everybody I gotta build a case with everybody so I can stay and I get it from mm -hmm. a perspective of that but without chilling and just again enjoying the process right she missed out on a great opportunity right. now would she have still stayed maybe not because she needed to do that a lot earlier right. on and even one of the guys said too little too late right right it was because when she was he was like uh well yeah because i gotta to focus Fani, on this i was like wait did they ever right i was like i was trying to go back and see but well you know again they have so much filming right. that they cut. They could have gone on a date, it's possible. but again, he may not have felt that because he's like, well, my strongest connection are with these two ladies. Right. So you coming back around to me, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're good. So this this episode, we had the two people gone. Yes. For Brian. Brian, which and it was, yes. It was kind of, it was like Alex was the one who was like, yeah, you're not ready to love. Yeah. She's the one that made the, um, the announcement. Spoke, making the announcement in front of everyone. So this one, they did a little different. Right. Instead of having to, you know, go separate. Right. And, it would be a little awkward. That well, way. yeah. And then you pick two other people who's going to stay anyway. Right. Yeah. So I think they did it in a, in a great way of just saying, okay, with everybody here, you're not ready to love. Right. And then Simone was the second person that was voted off yes. the resort. And, so. and I was, I really was kind of hoping for Simone and Rashid to at least have a little more time. Right. At least what we could see. Right. right. But again, she kind of just kind of started a little late in her process, right. you know? Yeah. Um, and yeah, you have to work. Because yeah, remember, she was the one who was all, at first it was her and, and Jay Kind Correct. Of each other. Yes, and but she messed she, that she up. She messed that up. Yeah. So then it was just like she kind of was just floating around. Right. As far as what we see. Right. The date with Rashid seemed to be well. Yeah. You, you never know. I don't know. You know. Right. If what happens got... afterwards? Right. After the show, we'll right. see at the reunion. Right. Hey, we'll see. You know. Right. I mean, she says. I like how she left the show, mm -hmm. stating that she felt like she learned so she much. Didn't tell him to say it to the couch or anything like that. <laughs> that she learned so much from the process mm -hmm. and that she's still growing, which we all are, right? right? Um, you learn from that. You try to, when you hear it coming on, right? Because that's our norm. We go to our go-to stuff. Right. So I think the next time she's on a date, she's just kind of like... Yeah, I, I applaud Simone because I think she's she's in the pro constant process of doing work and we should all be if, you're right we all should be but she you know we, we know her story as far as right. doing the work with her dad and right. even in this so yeah um so as far as the trailer for next week yeah they didn't give a lot away it, there's not a lot because we're coming to the end so mm -hmm. so it's not like you have a lot of things popping off in no. my opinion it's a lot of firming up in my opinion right because there's still five men and five women and they got to get down to three couples right so that t means a total of four more people are going to go home yeah unless they do like they did last season where all of a sudden it's like we'll extend it and make four couples because oh do they yeah, yeah remember, remember i forgot what the girl's name was that just kind of chose right at the last minute okay got Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. so we'll see how that goes. We see Kyle Fani with his, you know, rubbing down hey. Denise. That's so all we'll we'll see how it good goes. Massage. Winter seems to be kicking around, mm -hmm. and then Denise and Anthony seem to. Yeah, Denise and Anthony. I, I still don't feel like that's a really strong connection. Yeah. We'll see. Edwin and Joy. You know, um, again, Joy is choosing Jay first. Mm -hmm. And Edwin seems to be, you know, like he only sleeps three or four hours a night. Yeah. So he has that, what, PS, PTSD? PTSD. Yeah. Um, which obviously makes sense. He was in the military, he worked in the police force. Mm -hmm. So this was just a lot of life he's seen, good right. and bad. So look, I feel like I want to pray for him, bless his heart. <laughs> But um, hopefully we'll see what happens. We'll see. So is, any predictions? So what are your predictions? is it is it a man or a woman that's going home next oh, week? Oh, I, I don't remember. know. All right. So if it's a man going home next week, okay. my prediction is a toss up between Anthony and Edwin. Mm. I think those are the two that are still kind of on the bubble. Okay. I think Anthony, if Anthony does not know how to to make that firm mm -hmm. commitment, let's say towards Winter, who is probably going to be his best shot. It, 
and it would be his best shot. Then I think he's going to he's going to go home. He needs to decide that he, she's going to be the number one. Right. He needs to choose his number one. Right. And I think she needs to decide too. True. Because she's really laying. She's really leaning to Jack. Right. So, so if it's a woman, then you're looking at potentially Alex. Alex which is probably going to be the most likely one because the only one that she has any type of tenuous connection with right now is Rashid. Is Rashid. And Rashid, Rashid is feeling Adriana. The only reason Rashid would go towards Alex is as the backup mm. the, in case Adriana makes the ship with Kalfani. Well, I don't know. He may want to... I just don't see him as a person like who takes backups. <laughs> I, yeah, I think I think it wouldn't surprise me. And again, we don't know what's happening right. behind the scenes, but it wouldn't surprise Packard me. Packard didn't that call it, us yet. Yeah. No text Will, message. give us a call. <laughs> we, we, uh, listen, put, give me some production credits, right? <laughs> um, but it wouldn't surprise me if Rashid, maybe after the show, if he did make the connection with Adriana, it wouldn't surprise me if he maybe circled back around and investigated Simone a little more. It's possible. It depends. Possible. We'll it's see. possible. Like, again... He probably wants, I think he's really feeling her. Like if he's like, I'm looking for wifey material. Right. And so what I'm hearing him say when they're doing their little round table, I think he's saying, I'm fine. I found wifey material. Right. And so we'll see, we'll see. if the material comes. All right. <laughs> let us know in the comments. Let us know your thoughts. Let us know your predictions. Um, as always, we are reading comments. We are responding to them. Um, but again, hit that subscribe button again. And also for my all of my YouTube watchers, all of you guys, um, there is 10% off okay. at my website. KevinCrawley.com. Get my t-shirts. We got to get the t-shirts. We got best wife ever and best husband ever yeah. shirts. I'm not your Negro. I'm not your Negro. And I'm getting that one. Build generational wealth. So you'll be yes. seeing us rocking those soon. Um, but make sure you get yours as well. You get a 10% discount um, on the website. All right. All right. All right. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you next video. Be blessed. Have a great one.